Hi Bob. Today we're just going to go over some of the other things that we've built for our Black Hat 2013 talk. Um, one of the things that I'm going to show right now in this video is what we call Kingfisher, which is essentially a way that you can uh, do targeted spear phishing attacks against individuals uh, based on the context that you have within the tool. So based on mining that you've done in the tool and information that you've gathered, you can now build up an automated sort of phishing profile uh, that you're going to send to someone. Okay, so I'm working in a collaborative profile uh, with Rulof, who's sitting next to me. Uh, because some of the transforms that, I, um, that he has, I don't have. So I'll get him to run a few things. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag on a domain into our session. Um, and I'm going to put in the target domain that I'm interested in. And I can do normal things like mine for email addresses. So this is going to go and look at who is and search engines and so on. Um, then I can look at the email addresses that come out. Um, and I can probably just take away the ones that I'm not interested in. Um, and from here, I can have a look at them and see what other information I can get. Uh, so for starters, on this one, that looks like an alias. So I could drag an alias in and say this alias is Andrew Mohawk. Um, and I can just link those two up. Um, and now I can ask Rudolph to run uh, on Andrew at Punks at today. Just look that up on Facebook. And then on the alias, perhaps look it up on, on Twitter for me. So yeah, you can hear he's running the transforms. Um, so I'm actually not touching the screen. And then the results will, will come out now. Uh, so he's just going to take the alias and then run that to Twitter as well. And there it runs. And now I can see the results of both of these. So there's my Facebook profile and there's a Twitter profile. So now what I can do is I can select the section of the graph. So obviously this is a very small graph, but you know, naturally you could run this in a much larger graph. And I could say run the transform that says send to URL, which is essentially going to fire up a specific web application that we've built for this. Okay, so you'll see that on the left hand side of the application I've got the trees which essentially are the email addresses that I'm starting with um, and each one of these uh, as soon as you click on it will show you available templates. Uh, these templates are then built up based on the context that you've got in Multigo. So for example uh, for this one it's got a Facebook template and for the other one it'll have a Twitter template which this one doesn't have because I don't have a Twitter account associated with that tree. Um, so what I can do, so for example if I pick this one I can uh, load up at various templates. So in this case, here's a basic one, just an Outlook web app a security warning. Uh, so obviously that doesn't need a lot of context, but something like the Twitter follower template. So you'll see here, this is what it uh, looks like before it's been rendered. Um, and down here, I can see that it's got a whole lot of context from uh, the actual Multigo graph. So here I can have things like who it's going to, uh, the subject and so on. And then I can say, um, who the from profile is, so who this is going to look like it's from. Uh, so in this case, I'll pick Rulof Temming, so that's his alias on Twitter. Hit search, and it's now going to populate that data. Um, and then I can pick the type of template. So essentially, there's three of them. Uh, a clean redirect, which will include a link uh, in the template that just redirects somewhere else. A bounce redirect, where uh, that link will actually come to your Kingfisher server. That'll capture a user agent and IP address, and then send the person on and a collect redirect, uh, which is something that is more specific that you will try and capture credentials with, so sort of a fake login page or something like that. Um, so then once I've populated this data, I can hit show rendered, um, and this will show me what the actual email is going to look like. So in this case, Andrew Mohawk, I've got a new follower, it's Rulof Temming. Um, and then I can just hit save, and that will save the template for that email address. And I can do the same on the other one. So this is for, uh, I've got eBay account or an OWA, but in this case, the, obviously, the Facebook tag picture is probably uh, more relevant. OK, so for the Facebook one, see this template is already uh, said, OK, here's my profile, and here's a bunch of my friends. So if I've got friends that are publicly visible, um, it'll go and pull that for me. So let's say I pick someone uh, like Conan, and I'll see that's his image, um, or I can add one specifically if I know the alias. Again, the redirect type, um, and then I can hit Show Rendered. So in this case, this shows me what uh, it looks like. I can save the template. And here at the top, you'll see that they're now both green. So when I hit Send Template, it's going to send out these uh, to specific mailboxes. So I'm going to do that. And you'll see there goes the first one. And there's the second one that's been sent. So I've built a whole application around this. Um, but we'll, you, know, you can cover that in the, in the white paper. So here, if I go to my inbox, you'll see that I've got a new follow on Twitter. If I click on it. Um, you'll see I can just display images, and then I can see the whole template, um, and these links will go to various locations. Then, of course, in my other email address, uh, I've, in my other inbox, I've got a new Facebook message, so that's actually from Facebook. So 
So if you had to go and look at that, you'll see that it's from Facebook mail, not mail. Um, and if I put display images, then I can see the actual template. And then these links will then go to our application. So just using it within the tool as well, uh, what I can do is I'm just going to start a new graph here, is I can put down the server. So in this case, we've used um, a domain that we control, which is inet mailerdemon.com. And I can say, from here, show me all the campaigns that you've got, so all the campaigns that are running. And there I see that there's a Twitter and a Facebook one that have come out. I can say, from these, uh, show me the email addresses that you've sent the mail to. Okay, and I'll say it sent one to each of those email addresses. And from there, I could say, okay, well, show me uh, any details. So in this case, there probably won't be any details because I haven't clicked on any of the links. So the user agent uh, hasn't been captured and there's no credentials. Um, so obviously, if we were running this uh, in the tool, it's a lot easier to just have it as a machine, which I've done already. So this will just go and run through that iterative loop um, every 30 seconds or so. So now it's going gonna, it's gonna to get the campaigns, the email addresses, and any details that there are. So what I can do here is now if I had to go and click on one of these, so if I clicked on uh, see all your followers, right, it will redirect to a page that looks very much like a Twitter login page. Okay, it's waiting for the backgrounds to load. And then I can say log in with a, my actual Twitter username and my password. All right, and if I had to then wait for the machine to run, you'll see that it'll populate some of these details already. Uh, so I'll just wait for that to, to come out. So here it says, okay, I've accessed it uh, with a Mozilla Firefox and there's the IP address that I used. Um, there's nothing else on here because I haven't put in any details. So here I'm going to log in. Uh, so if I sign in to this particular phishing site, uh, you'll see it just redirects me to Twitter. Uh, so if I am actually logged in on Twitter anyway, I can see the profile. And again, if I go and look at this one on Facebook, uh, so the email looks pretty legitimate. If I click on see the photo, um, it will give me a Facebook uh, login page. So here I'll log in as username, Facebook, and password. And I'll log in, and it's going to redirect me to Facebook. Um, again, if I had to go and click on uh, one, either of these links again, you'll see that you now aren't faced with the login screen. Instead, you're redirected straight away. Um, so now if I look at the machine that's running, you'll see that this one has captured credentials. Uh, they've both captured credentials now. So it says I've used the same IP address. There's two different user agents, because I was using two different browsers. And here I can see username and password. Uh, this was for uh, the Twitter profile. And for the Facebook one, um, I can see this captured credentials, username, Facebook, and password. Uh, so that's just a basic run through of being able to do that in an automated way. And of course, I could do it on a much larger uh, organization as well if I wanted to.